Alrighty, yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. DDG94 back with another reaction video. Today we're going to react to What Did Tommy Do for a Job? Martin. This is by uh Cuz I'm Black TV. Uh we reacted to this brother's videos a couple times in the past. He been putting out content here and there. We just I just haven't gotten around to reacting to it. Hey man, make sure y'all go subscribe to him too, man. Help him get his subscribers up, man. Y'all know me, man. I'm always here to help out uh, YouTubers with smaller subscriber bases, man. You already know that, man. So without further ado, man, let's get right into it. What did Tommy do for a job? Come on, guys. Now, if y'all having financial problems, why don't you come to me for a loan, man? You know I just got a raise out of the job. You ain't got no <laughs> job. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, oh, for those... No. Martin fans, you know the running gag uh, when Tommy talks about he has a job. What do you say? You ain't they got no job, job man. man. It's a running gag throughout the series that never gets old. Will always be funny. Tommy, God rest his soul, one of the most stand up characters in television history. But the one thing we did not know about him is what did he do for a living? Well, today we're going to unpack this and try to figure out just what the hell do you do for a living, bro? So we're going to unpack that today. What did Tommy do for a J-O-B? You're gonna find out with me on Cuz I'm Black TV. Let's go. So the first conspiracy theory is that Tommy was a drug dealer. Yeah, I mean, it explains why he had all those fresh fly clothes. He had money at times. It does make sense. However, even though it is Michigan, it is the 90s, unless Tommy was working with white boy Rick, I could not see Tommy selling no coco. <laughs> like, at all. I can't see that, bro. I just can't see that. Tommy was too enlightened. He was, he was too for black progress and black empowerment. He was very non-violent, and like, that's not his character. I mean, even when he got jumped by the small persons, the small peoples, he found a way to try to make it non-violent and keep the peace. Violence begets violence, which leads to the grave. But see, if, if we were all to walk that path called love, Oh, my brothers and sisters, we can all get to the promised land. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> so, yeah, Tommy being a drug dealer, eh, nah. Now, another conspiracy theory that doesn't really get talked about, but I'm going to bring it up because, hey, I can. Phone sex operator. Yes, I, yeah, I know. It's very uncomfortable. I, 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 I know. I know, I know, very uncomfortable to talk about. But I mean, that would be a job to you would Boy, be you ashamed or embarrassed if you did have that job. And the funny part is, they kind of teased it in you one episode when Martin nigga. was doing the audition to have his TV my show. Grandpa. He kind of brought it up. Oh, my grandpa, you <laughs> What are you talking about? Oh, man, don't play dumb, okay? All right, I'm holding here, right here. Your phone bill, okay? Huh? Oh, look, seven hundred dollars charged to nine seven six. Strokey duck. Freaky frog. You freaky frog. You freaky frog. You a pervert, aren't you? A pervert. You know what? How do you live with yourself? You know what? How do you live with yourself? You know what? You know what? But again, nah, I don't. I don't see Tommy doing that. He has too much pride. I think. I, I don't think he would. I don't think even he was really down. Down bad. He would have been a phone sex operator. I can't, I can't, I can't nah, see that's, Tommy that's doing something That's something Cole like that. would end up doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm licking your balls. <laughs> <sighs> However, in somewhat of the same hey, yo, vein of a sexual uh, environment, it does make sense if Tommy was a stripper or what we call a exotic male dancer that's something i could still see yeah Cole it, doing. It, that, that could be possible man or i mean Jerome. they even teased it when uh, Tina uh, and martin was doing a full uh, court uh, press uh, on trying to find out what tommy school. was doing for a living <laughs> tommy is not dancing for money this is a charity fashion show for the feed the youngins foundation read it 
Why you got me on stakeout following Tommy and stuff, Jigga? I mean, it's feasible, even though he denied being a stripper. It is feasible that Boy, he, if really he don't was, get but he just found a way to hide it in plain sight. But no, sir. even then, Not me. I, God. I, 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 can't, I can't see that. I can't see Tommy. It's not what, to Tommy too sophisticated. Or, or chocolate milk. Tommy is too sophisticated. Like, like what was his stripper name? Like, I, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I, I can't. I can't. I can't see Tommy. Like if he's if he's bold enough to get bucket naked. Bucket naked. I think he will be bold enough to tell at least his close friends. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Party over here. Gay. Now, the number one thing people keep bringing up, the number one profession people keep bringing up is, well, it's obvious. It's so obvious. Tommy was a teacher. And in the beginning, I really thought that too. I mean, in season one, with the infamous uh, Miss Trinidad episode to where Martin almost got caught up, <laughs> caught up, right? With Miss Trinidad, Tommy is the one that, that asked Martin to go down to the school, his school, to volunteer for a career day. Hey, Martin, look, we having a career day down at the school, huh? and I was wondering if you'd like to come down and talk to the kids. I don't know about that, Tommy. <laughs> And thank you, Mr. Brown and Mr. Payne Kiffin. Give him a round of applause. Y'all come back when you're hiring. There's nothing changed in the school, man. Yeah, you're still getting beat up by eighth graders. <laughs> so it's clear that Tommy, in some type of aspect, was a teacher. But it was never specified whether he was a volunteer or if that was his career. And if that was his career, why would he be ashamed? Why would he not just talk about that? So with all... But when do teachers get uh, timeshares? If you remember in season five, they went on a skiing trip. Remember that? <laughs> and then there was the other time when Martin went to go pick Tommy up from work. And then he said, he said, all I remember was a big old, I remember a big old black building with no windows, no nothing, no doors. I. I was just sitting there waiting. All of a sudden, poof, there you were, Tommy. So so it can't be a teacher. Teacher is out the question, too. I know what it is, but I'll wait to the end. The only logical conclusion I can come up with for what Tommy did for a living is... Hey, yo. What the fuck? This guy we see right here is not Tommy Strong. No, 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 no. This, this man right here, nigga, right here, right here, nigga. You know who we see before us? Malcolm Barker. Yes, this is not Tommy Strong. This is Malcolm Barker because Tommy was working undercover. Yes, it was in our face the whole entire time. You see what happened when Martin went off the air? As soon as Martin hey, yo, went what off the, the air, fuck? what did he do? He revealed no himself. He revealed what he was we really created. doing. Working in this, special investigations no, unit for New York totally undercover. Not. Yes, it's, and that's, that's the only logical sense. It's, it's the only thing that makes up. sense, man. No, nah, in all seriousness, it's a total fabrication. I think, happened. honestly, like honestly, this one was invented by all jokes aside, all, all joke and jokes aside, it's false. I feel Tommy it's was it's in fiction. some type of aspect never working for the no CIA, we got you. the Not FBI, Not this time. to where it he was like happened. some type of spy. I truly we feel that. He was some type it's of like spy, we FBI, made made type of agent to where he could not divulge what he did. Not this time. So that his cover would not be blown. It never happened. That's what I think he was doing. And because of that, yeah, there were times where he was getting paid. He had a darling dream to make him some cream. And then there were times where he had no money. 
because everybody knows when it comes to police public service type of jobs that they don't get paid like that on a consistent basis they're up and then they're down so i can definitely see i mean the wire taught us that so i can definitely see tommy being some type of undercover spy fbi cia no agent not this time we created that was on the low low on no, the low no, low it's totally right pure but fiction. he's trying to blow his cover it's fiction. it's fiction we made it up and that's why we he had all those fresh clothes still though because he's like hey I, I get paid i'm gonna look good though it never happened this one but he, that's why he never right. revealed what he Not did and he still on happened. the side volunteered to help the kids because tommy loved the kids it's fiction tommy loved it's an urban legends but never all right so yeah that's what i think we got you. Tommy did for a living, but you comment below what you it think Tommy happened. Strong it never did happened. for a living. Again, it's rest in power we made up this one. to Tommy we Strong, aka this time. Tommy wrong. Ford. Not this time. Never Not forgotten. This time. You're wrong. Not this Cause time. Black, Cause black, Cause I'm black, y'all. Cause I'm black, y'all. Cause I'm black and I'm black and I'm black, y'all. Cause I'm ba, 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 ba. yo. Cause I'm black and I'm back. It's so hard <laughs> to say goodbye. To yesterday, oh, 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 R.P. to Tommy, man. But nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. You want to know what Tommy really did for a living? He was not a CIA. Get that get that nonsense the fuck out of here. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. You want to know what Tommy did for a living? He was a tip service worker, man. He ain't got no job. That's because he with the tip service people, man. This nigga was getting tip service jobs, man. This nigga wasn't this nigga wasn't no fucking CIA. How the fuck you go to CIA? We don't even know if Tommy went to college. We don't even know if Tommy got in the law. How do you how do you work for the CIA and the guy? You don't even get in the law. Nah, man, it's only two options. Either Tommy was a temp service worker, which is the most logical one due to the content, if it, because it fits the continuity of the show. So the smartest thing we can say is he was just a temp service worker. He only worked temp jobs. He never could keep a job. He always had a job, but he couldn't keep a job. He got too bold and started asking for raises because he was too prideful. He always wanted a raise because he worked the hardest. He worked the hardest. He moved up. And when it was time time to get paid, he always tried to go for the big, big job and always fell flat on his face. And then he just quit and moved on to another job. That's what I think it was. And then the other example would, 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 would most likely be he was a preacher. He was an actual preacher. He worked for the church, which is why he worked at the schools. He worked at the schools because he worked at the church. Which would probably make him like a guidance counselor or something like that, you know? He's probably like a guidance counselor for the kids at the school. I wouldn't say he was a teacher. I say he's more like a guidance counselor. Somebody in the, somebody that's in the back of the office. He in the office, but he all the way in the back. And you go into his office when you feeling down and you feeling like, you know, you're going through something. He seemed like the type of brother you would talk to. Because Tommy seemed like that type of brother you could, you could have that, those conversations with when you when you feeling fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But more than likely, he was a temp service worker because that fits the continuity of the show. So I'm going with temp service worker. He had, he was working temp service jobs. He couldn't keep the job. And then when he tried to move up a position at the job, it didn't work out. So he moved on and went to another job and tried to see if he could do it there. I think Tommy was more prideful about becoming an owner, a businessman. You know, having that high end role. You know, make that big make that big boy money. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think was going on. Tommy was working tip service, bro. 
I don't care what anybody say. Tommy was working temp service, bro. Tommy was working temp service, bro. It don't matter, bro. Tommy was working temp service. You can't tell me any differently. It all makes sense. This man says CIA and FBI. Where the fuck you get that from? Boy, if you don't get... Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. You want to know what happened? That man was working temp service. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. But anyways, though, that's just going to about do it for this one. Let me know what y'all think Tommy did for Tommy. What what did Tommy do for a job? What was Tommy's job? What was his, uh, what was his uh, services of employment? What do you think Tommy was? Do you think he's? Do you think he was a CIA or a, a agent? Do you believe that he was a preacher? Do you believe that he was a teacher? Or do you believe what I believe? He was just working tip service jobs, and shit just wasn't working out the way how he wanted them to. That's what I think happened. But anyway, so that's just gonna about do it for this one. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, peace out.